Hi everybody and welcome. Today what I got in the mail was as good as me getting a box because it is the 21 days of beauty from Ulta that starts on September 21st through the 21st. I'm doing this on the overview camera so that we can go through the magazine together. I looked at it very briefly and then I said to myself, you know what, the best thing to do is let's go through it together. So here we go. Starting on September the 1st over here, we have two deals. The Peter Thomas Roth, that's going to be for $37.50. It's their Firm 360i Renewal. I've tried that product. It is a good product. The other one is Benefits Cosmetics, which is the Professional. And it was actually through the 21 Days of Beauty, I think was my first uh, opportunity that I took to purchase that product. And I enjoy that also. And that's going to go anywhere from $16 to $27. On the next day, September 2nd, you have the Ofra highlighters. I can't talk more highly about these Ofra highlighters. However, if you guys get any of the beauty boxes like I do, you usually get an Ofra highlighter in it. And there were a couple of spoilers that a couple of the boxes were going to be carrying. I think in the month of September, some special, I think it was a collaboration with Madison Miller on those highlighters. but. If you don't get boxes, getting these highlighters for $14.50 is a definite, definite win. The Foreo um, Luna Play at $24.50 is also a great deal. In the Tealy box, I got one that was very similar that was called Pop. So if you received the Tealy box from QVC last month, uh, for the whole box I paid $25, but that item is fantastic. It's $24.50. The next item also I got in the beauty box, it was the Boxy Charm in the month of August, September 3rd. It is the Becca Hydra Mist Set Refreshing Powder for $19.50. If you don't get the boxes, this is a win. This is a very hydrating uh, powder. You put it on your face, it feels amazing. And it also hides all the pores. It does everything it should do as a powder, but it has that added, added benefit of the coolness and the hydration. Mario uh, Badesco, another great product. It's their Rose Hip Nourishing Oil for $11. Mario Badesco, all of his products, I've tried a lot of them and never have I been disappointed. The next day, September the 4th, is from Skin Iceland. It's the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. It's a four count and they're saying it's going to run from $8.75 to $16. I've only tried a couple of products from uh, the skin, spelled S-K-Y-N, from Iceland. Um, I, I really don't have much to say on that. The next item is Bare Minerals, which is their concealers for uh, between $10 and $12. I have tried both. I do prefer the one that is in uh, the clear uh, container. They're both good, but I prefer the one that's called Bare Skin. The next one is September the 5th. It's Tarte. It is the Double Take Eyeliner for $12. This one, if it's the Double Take and one side of it will be the liquid liner and the other side is the pencil liner, I do own that and I do enjoy it. The next item is from MAC. It's the lipsticks in Diva or Creme in Your Coffee. So if those two colors are ones that you like, then, then that's a good deal for you guys at nine and a quarter. The next item is from Murad. It's the Nutrient Charged Water Gel Moisturizer for $30. Murad is also another brand that if you do get the monthly beauty boxes, you usually get to try a lot of the products from this company and I have never been disappointed. The water gel moisturizer seems to be something that a lot of the companies are starting to do. In last month's Allure, um, they gave a small sample of one from a new brand that's a Korean brand called I think Primera and uh, I was I liked it but I was far more impressed with one that I got through Peter Thomas Roth off QVC with his water uh, moisturizer. The next item from Lancome is Monsieur Big Mascara for 
I have not tried this mascara. I am going to do a video with all the mascaras so you guys can see all the brushes that I have. I have so many open. Um, I, I used to get uh, kits from Sephora where you used to get all the minis so you get to try them all and then we started getting them in the boxes and then when I was buying other kits I was getting mascaras. So I've got a lot of mascaras open right now so I don't think I'm going to get this but I think Lancome makes some of the best, best mascaras in the industry. And they're usually over $20. So for $12.50, which is a drugstore price, I think that's a great deal. The next item is from Paracone MD. It's the High Potency Classics Collection. And the prices run from $19 to $49.50. Uh, Paracone uh, MD is a very, very expensive line. I did try a couple of his products because of QVC and one of their today's specials. Um, I, For the price that I was paying, the results that I was getting, I didn't see much of a difference, but it is a very, very popular brand. And if it's one that you had your interests on, getting it during the 21 days it, for this type of price, I think is fantastic to try it. September 7th, uh, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills. It says they have the Brow Definer. It's $11.50. Everyone swears by this product. Uh, I own this product. It is a great product. And at $11.50, it's a steal. The next item is from Dermalogica. It's a skin smoothing cream. Dermalogica, another great brand. I've tried a couple of their products and I have not been disappointed. They're also offering on December 7th, $10 off a Dermalogical Facial. Um, with any dermatological purchase at the skin bar at Alta on the 7th. Now we're back over here on September the 8th. We have Too Faced, the Natural Face and Eye Palettes. I love Too Faced and these palettes I own and they are great. Um, and those are running from 19 to 22. Keep in mind that it's Christmas is coming up and Too Faced also comes out with a lot, a lot of new products. So these are the standard products that I think everyone should have in their arsenal. The next item is Smashbox. Excuse me, it's their Photo Finish Foundation Primers in Super Light or Reduce Redness Primer. It's only these two primers that they have on sale that day and that's $18 to $19.50. I was introduced to primers through Smashbox. I think they make some of the best, uh, the best primers. With that said, I've never tried the Super Light nor this Reduce Redness Primer. The next one is another product I'm not familiar with. It's from Derma Doctor. It's their Kakadu C Serum, and it's $47.50 instead of $95. The next item is from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. This has been sitting in my wish list cart for a while. I think I'm probably going to pick that one up. It's $17 um, just to have it. I don't think it's something I really need, but it's a waterproof setting powder. And because I'm down south now, I think that's great to have with all this high humidity. The next item, some people got in some boxes uh, last month. I did not. It's the Peach and Lily uh, Glass Skin Refining Serum for $19.50. I'm going to take a look once we finish all this and see if I can see anybody who did receive it on the, in their box if they've used it. Uh, to see what the results were on it, but what I've read up on it, it looks like it's a fantastic, fantastic product. The next item is also from Too Faced on September the 10th. It's the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Palette for $17. I really don't have any interest in, in those, but like I said, if you're a Too Faced and you've been you know, lover and you've been waiting for these to go on sale for $17 to get a, a Too Faced product, eyeshadows is fantastic. Dr. Brandt, No More Baggage. This one I do not recommend. I did get it in a box. I tried it. I did not enjoy it at all, but Dr. Brandt does make great products. I do like their Pour No More's primer. This product, however, just for me didn't do it, but it does run from $11 to $21, regularly $22 to $42. So if that's something you wanted to try from Dr. Brandt, that's a great deal too. September 11th, we have the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners. This is a fantastic product. It's a thicker uh, lip liner, so it's really great if you want to use it all over your lip. The other side has a sponge on it to be able to spread the product out. I have it in two colors. I enjoy it. And they're $9, regularly $18. The next item they have is Pro Proactive Select Cleanser. It's now $15 to $27.50. 
I've never tried this product, but I am a huge, huge believer in Proactive. Uh, when I did have um, acne, uh, Proactive was one of the brands that I was very loyal to and it really helped me. The next item on September 12th is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara for $11.50. I have this mascara. I have a lot of Tarte's mascara. The last box, we just got a new Tarte's mascara that was in that vibrant pink um, uh, container. And it uh, had a, a brush very similar to the Better Than Sex mascara. The only thing with uh, that mascara, it seemed to, at the end of the day, give me the, um, the lower lash line, some of the um, transfer. So. But I do own this mascara. The packaging is beautiful. Uh, it's a standard. Um, but if I had to choose between a mascara that's on sale, I think I would try the Monsieur before I would recommend the uh, the Tarte one. The next item is from Mario Badesco. I own these cleansers. They are fantastic cleansers, and their prices are reasonable to begin with at you know fourteen and sixteen dollars for cleansers. But with that said, for seven and eight dollars, it's definitely something you should try. Um, they're, they're a winner in my books. The September 13th, the Tarte Amazon Clay Blush and Highlighters, I recommend extremely highly. They run $14.50 each. If there's a color that um, you want to choose, that's great. But with that said, Christmas time comes around the corner and they usually come out with these fantastic uh, Tarte um, Amazon clay palettes. I have the big blushers. I have the ones for travel and um, they usually run, you know, they're far more expensive than $14.50, but you do get a lot of them. So I would, I would double, I would check on that. So I don't know, but if there's a color that you want or at $14.50, it's a great price and it's a great product. The next item is from Clarisonic is the cleansing brush heads. I own the Clarisonic. I have a couple of extra brush heads, so I don't need it, but at $13.50 to $16, that's a great price. Normally, they're around $30. September 14th, Kylie Cosmetics, the Matte and Velvet Lip Kits. They're running $13.50 to $14.50. That's a fantastic price because I bought them at $29. So once again, if there's a color that uh, interests you, I think that's great because the lip pencil alone would be the, that price and you're getting both products so it's a good time to try it if you haven't if there's a color that you want and you like uh, matte but I really 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 like the velvet uh, lip products the next item is it cosmetics bye bye foundation at 1975 that is a phenomenal deal um, I get my uh, it cosmetics most of the time from QVC because they normally run specials they also run super sizes so um, I won't be getting that, but if you haven't tried it at $19.75, I think that's a great price. Philosophy All Night Cream is the next item. I do own this product as well. It's $24.50 to $40. Philosophy is a great, great brand. I actually uh, just put up a video, I think today, um, with uh, the, their cleanser, their purity cleanser, which is hands down the best cleanser. It takes off my makeup, my mascara, everything. So Philosophy is a brand that I really, really like. The next item that they have on here is they're saying Benefits Cosmetics is giving a free brow uh, wax, which is regularly $22, and that's all it says there. So that would probably be, it says at the Benefit Brow Bar. So at Ulta, that's something I would look into. I don't know about that. September 15th, they have the Tarte Tartlet 2 in Bloom Clay Eyeshadow Palette for $19.50. This is also a fantastic palette. This is one of their better palettes it's in that uh, container that has that snap closure. Um, really, really like that palette. Another two items that I really enjoy September 15th that I could recommend are the two, fe the two faced select hangovers. I guess it's either or, or you can get one of each. It's 16 to $17, normally 32 to 34. I got to try both these products. Also it was an HSN Today's Special when Too Faced had one. Um, and those both were in their full size and fantastic, fantastic products. Definitely ones I repurchase. September 16th, It Brushes for Ulta. Their Velvet Luxe Brushes. I love my, um, my, it, my It Brushes. I get majority of them in my QVC kits. I just also have a video up on all the brushes that I recommend and that I love. Uh, you should check that video out. It was one of my first videos that made me want to do the channel. So that's, that's really great. Strivectin Wrinkle Recode Line Transferring 
um, melting serum for $44.50, regularly $89. I've tried Strivectin a few times. I'm not a lover of that brand. September 17th, Cover FX. This is another one that I have my eyes on because it's one that I never tried, but I see a lot of the results on this product to be really, really strong. It's the Perfecting Setting Powder in Light or Deep at $17.50. I think that's a great deal at $35. And then the next item they have is a supplement uh, from Severitrol. I don't know that at all. Can't give any information on that one. September 18th, they have the Pure Lashes and Mascara. Uh, now $4 to $11. Haven't tried either of those. First uh, Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I have tried. Did get that also in one of the boxes in a full size. So I got to use it for an entire month. Fantastic product. And at $10.50, I think that's a great price, regularly $21. Lancome, they have uh, skin solutions. I have not tried these. It's running $32.50 to $37.50. Normally, uh, it says, I think, $65 to $75, which is, you know, a lot. But like I said, Lancome is a fantastic brand. September 19th, Dose of Colors. I love when Dose of Colors is on 21 Days of Beauty. That's when I usually pick up my... Um, my colors that I, I want to either restock or try new ones because they're usually around nine dollars and that's their matte liquid lipstick I'm not a lover of the matte I wish they had the glosses because I do love their glosses but the mattes do stay on all day and they don't dry out your lips the next one is origins It's the travel kit every single sample that I've gotten from origins I have loved so that's something I'm keeping my eyes on as well it's going to be $14.75 instead of $29.50 so I think that's a great way to try the products if you haven't September 20th it cosmetics bye bye under eye full coverage anti-age waterproof concealer for $13 regularly $26 this is a, a product that I think the packaging looks a little different than the ones that I have but I have a stockpile of these. Um, when they entered into the industry of beauty, they came through QVC, and the first product that they brought to air was this Bye Bye Under Eye, and it is phenomenal. You could use that as a foundation. You use so little, literally a pea size amount. So that's a really, really good deal for that product, and that's definitely something everyone should have. The next item is It Cosmetics uh, brushes again, if this one is on sale, this one that has the double side, if you watch my um, video on my brushes, this was what got me hooked on IT Cosmetic brushes. It is the perfect, perfect brush. I have backups of it. I've gotten kits off QVC solely for this brush. It is one of the best brushes I think that IT Cosmetics makes. That and their uh, bronzer uh, brush. The next item here is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing product. I have tried this product. I like this product. It is a fantastic product and at 1050 I think that's a great deal. September 21st, the Urban Decay. This is a no brainer. This is a fantastic product. $11 for their eyeliners is a steal. Benefits Cosmetics, the same thing. Their brow product at $12, again, a steal. And then uh, Juice Beauty. I'm still working on mine. I've gotten this in one of the first kits I think I got from the e Ipsy Glam. Uh, and I have tried both of these. I enjoy the serum very much. Uh, the cream is fine. Uh, do I see major results with this product? Not really. But the benefits that are written on here are great. Um, but like I said, uh, because I get so many beauty boxes, I only get to try products for a very short period of time now. But with that said, I do enjoy this product and it does plenish into the skin really, really nicely. And then we're just going to go through this together because I haven't really gone through it and I just want to look at what's going on in here. I know that also during the 21 Days of Beauty, they have um, a lot of sales that go on at the same time. So let's just check out what's going on here. So here they have hot buys up to 40% off. They're showing uh, Lorac at $30, the Pro Palette 2, Lipstick Queen, now $17.50. I would also check on uh, Costco.com. I know they had some really great prices on this Lipstick Queen. Uh, Q on the Flesh, I have not tried any of those products, but the few videos that I've watched of the few people that got some promotional material from this company seem to talk highly of the brand. Um, these two down here are the Beauty Bakery. That's also new to Ulta, but like I said, I've watched uh, some other um, uh, YouTubers with that brand and uh, they talk highly of it, but I've never tried it. 
Lily Lashes is also, I'm not a big lash girl, but these two lashes are ones that I've seen uh, the YouTubers wear and they're beautiful. The next is Lime Crime uh, Wet Cherry Lip Glosses. They also have for $15 to $21 the Double Duty Base Tape Hydrating Primer and Shape Tape Pour Prime Balm. I have not tried the balm, but I have tried the primer and the primer is excellent. The next item here is from Becca at $28.70 for the Shimmering Skin Perfecting Liquid Highlighter. I'm not a lover of liquid highlighters, so I don't think I'm going to try that. The next two are st from Stila. They're all day liquid lipsticks. I do own Stila liquid lipsticks. They are fantastic at $15.40. I also think that Boxy Lux in the month of September, there was a sneak peek. I think uh, those are going to be in that box as well. The next item here is from Pure. At $16.70, it's a mist setting spray. If you look, I do have a video on all my setting sprays, and um, Pure is not one that I've ever tried, so I really can't help you guys on that one, but I have tried uh, this uh, Button London uh, Mascara. This one here, the first one, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's $14. I Like I said, I would definitely try the Lancome one if you have to choose a mascara. But I'm telling you to try the Monsieur, but I haven't tried it, so I feel really weird saying that, but I do have all the other Lancome mascaras, and I really, really enjoy those. The next is from Dose of Colors for $10.50, some eyeliners. I love Dose of Colors. I've never tried their eyeliner, but every product that I've tried of theirs, I have not been disappointed. The Bare Minerals is the next item. It's their skincare. Skincare from Bare Minerals is always a winner, so that I would definitely look online to see uh, other people's what their results are on that then you have Anastasia the powdered uh, bronzers I haven't tried Anastasia's bronzers but once again Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm sure on YouTube we guys can look that up and see who has used them and to make sure to know the swatching of the colors so you know you can choose the right color for yourself and those are regularly $28 and they're going to be on sale for $19.60 the items up here are buy one get one at 50% off from uh, Magnetic Matte and Luminous Eye Colors from Nude Sticks. I have tried some of Nude Sticks products and I think they're a great brand. Smith & Cult is a very expensive brand. There were some videos uh, on the foundation. I haven't watched them yet because it was a, an expensive, I think it was like a $40 or $50 uh, foundation and I've fallen in love with this one that's really inexpensive. Uh, from Hard Candy that I've been loving so much. I cannot believe the amount that I paid for it under $10 and it to me is as good as the higher end brands that I have. But at this price, $29.40, still pricey for me, but I I, I don't know. I, I'm on the fence on that one. The next item I have tried and I do own and I, they are fantastic. They are the Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow tri uh, Trios. They are fantastic. They're great for traveling. I do own that one. Um, the next item here is the uh, Crystallized Collection. I haven't tried the Crystallized Collection, but I do own about three or four palettes uh, that are similar to this design, and they are fantastic, and I travel with them all the time. The next one here is buy two, get one free. It's the Advanced Hydrogel Melting Mask. It's a single one. So buy two, get one free, they're regularly $15. Then they're doing the buy two, get one free on all of these Urban Decay um, sprays. Uh, I own uh, two of them. I haven't tried the, the D-Slick, which I think would probably be really, really good for uh, oily skin. Um, I haven't tried, oh, the Provision Mascara I've tried, it's fine. This product I have not tried but the Urban Decay Potions I think are absolutely great. So, perfect. This is a product that I haven't seen yet. It's from Urban Decay, it's called Ready, Set, Go. It's saying it's the ultimate brush off translucent loose setting powder. The packaging looks really interesting. I'm gonna see if anyone did, has done a YouTube video on that because that's one that looks really interesting. The next item is from Tarte, it's their called Favorites. I have tried majority of the items on this page. The Man Eater is a good mascara if you like the bristle brush that is, um, it's, it's not a brush, it's more like a plas little plastic, uh, 
it's it's some people find that it it stabs them in the eye I have no problem with it but it really really extends your lashes it's a plastic uh, small um, I'm trying to think of the word and I can't think of it sorry guys it's a, a small uh, they're like little pins I don't know how to explain it the next item is the Tarte um, <clears throat> face tape in the foundation I own this I enjoy it the only thing with Tarte you have to be very careful use very little uh, otherwise it will seep into your lines if you have any the shape tape of course fantastic deal and what they're doing is they're giving a deluxe face tape foundation with any $35 Tarte purchase which is fantastic the items down here are ones that they uh, if you want to check them out they are also on QVC and you can see the videos of them using them this one looks really really interesting uh, on QVC this one uh, came with a brush. Uh, let me just see if the price uh, lip gloss is $25. Eye and cheek palette is $25. I think it was like $29 with $350 shipping or something with the brush. So you guys can check out the reviews on QVC about that product uh, because some people have already purchased it. The next item here uh, is Insta Bake. I'm not familiar with that. They have the Pure Barbie uh, that's been advertised all over the face and Pure. They carry NARS now at Ulta, which is really exciting. And then they're going to have some exclusive kits where they have the Buxom Dolly, which is one of the, my favorites from Buxom uh, Plumping, and then uh, the nude sticks in the kits. So that's really exciting. Then again, they have everything that's brand new, which they're considering hot buys. They have for $29.40 here the Smith & Cult, which we talked about earlier, which was the foundation. Uh, Bare Minerals here is the Get Nude Metallic Patented Lip Lacquers. These are really nice, they're very opaque. Oh, again, this is one of my favorite brushes. Then um, they're also have there at um, Alta during the sale, they've brought in the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the uh, Jackie Palette that looks like it's regular price, but with that said, they're giving a free gift four pieces with any $45 Anastasia Beverly Hills purchase. And it looks like the kit is really cool. So that's interesting. Then uh, Boing, this is a brand new concealer. Uh, I do own a few of the concealers from Benefit. The Boing was one of my first uh, products that I love from them. It used to come in a pot uh, and I loved it and I wore it and I take it with me traveling all the time. I have not seen much except for Patrick Starr using this product. So um, I really can't give you much info on that. Uh, but during Christmas time, Benefit always comes out with the coolest, uh, cutest packaging for their brand. Uh, and they usually have a lot in mini size, which gives you the opportunity to try a lot more of their product line. And it looks like that's what these kits are. So really exciting. Like see $112 value and it's uh, $50, but these look like they might all be full size. I did get in one of the previous boxes, the Bad Gal um, Mascara. Uh, one of my friends swears by it. It lengthens your lashes like no tomorrow, but I had transfer at the end of the day on my lower lash line, my upper lash line beyond perfect. The Hula, everyone knows that one. It's their number one bronzer. Uh, the Pore Fashional, also a number one product, and their uh, brow, uh, product is one of their number one products. So like I said, a benefit during Christmas time is the best time to pick up their brand if you have interest in it. Uh, Lancome, there's an advertising. It Cosmetics, this is their new mascara that they joined up with Drybar. Um, it Cosmetics, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I either, um, the, the one that I'm using now was one that I was like on the fence about. Absolutely love it now. So it Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands, so a lot of times with their products, no matter what it is, I, I try them. I try them all. So, and I also get a majority of my cosmetics, like I said, on QVC because when they run their today's specials with QVC, they're fantastic, and you can also get them on auto delivery, which means you can pace out that when you finish your, the one that you're using, you'll still get it at that sale price. It's a great deal. Then the next one, Too Faced Mascara, if you haven't tried it, um, that looks like it's full, but it's just saying these are some of their best sellers. So they're just putting in this magazine everything that's available, I guess, at Ulta. They have some hot new launches. Uh, I did get in a box the Cover XX, FX uh, Spritz. 
It's a little weird. You have to shake it and there's like a ball inside of the spritzer. The Smashbox Oil Shine Control is a really good product and I haven't tried these new launches from Too Faced. And I'm, they're introducing a new brand at Ulta that is called Sparked. Um, I've tried a couple of the Ulta products. I haven't been overly impressed. I usually get them as bonuses when I you know, purchase a certain amount in the kits over the summer. I got a fantastic deal and a fantastic kits uh, from Tarte. Those videos are up too. They're one of my first, first videos, so you have to go a little back. I've only been up uh, just over a month or just a month probably at this point. And those are one of the first ones that we did. It was a lot of fun to do and that's what got me hooked to try to do this guys for you guys. Damn Girl is also one that I haven't tried, uh, but from what I've seen online, nobody's you know talking overly highly of it. MAC Cosmetics, you cannot go wrong with their lipsticks. Uh, usually during Christmas time, I'll get myself a kit or two of the matte lipsticks. Estee Lauder, really good concealer. I've tried that. Uh, Becca, these are also a great time to get the kits. Uh, I missed out on the one that was the blur kit. I wanted to try that one. That was on QVC, but I missed it because it was on another one of their channels that I don't watch. This one here is still, a, it's saying it's a new high chic fluid foundation. There's so many foundations that just came out. Just check YouTube because there's some really great girls that do foundation um, videos. And I mean, Anastasia came out with one and a bunch of others, you know, Urban Decay and now Stila. Clinique, another great brand. This was one of the first uh, department store brands that I ever bought my skincare from. Beauty Blender, fantastic. If they're running a, a sale on it, that's the time to stock up on those. But I did do a sponge video and I swear by the new Wet n Wild um, sponge, I feel it is a beyond a dupe for it and it's only four bucks. So that's the one I recommend over the Beauty Blender. But if you don't own a Beauty Blender, you should definitely have one to see. And then try to find, like I did, one that is compatible. And if you don't want to try them, just watch my video on my sponges that says dupes for Beauty Blender and you'll see because I went through a lot of purchasing to get to the Wet n Wild winner. These are products that are all makeup and skincare all in one, which is usually tinted uh, products that you can wear. Then Sunday Raleigh, I am so excited that that is now at Ulta. I have tried a few of her products now and I am very impressed. Um, the next few items here are all skincare. Uh, let's go through this a little quicker. Yeah, this is all skincare products on this page. I have tried the Origins. This is fantastic. I've tried the Murad Cleanser. That is fantastic. Uh, oh, this I just got in the Fat Fit Fun Box in February. I am loving it. LMS products I have not been disappointed with. Um, and that's all I've tried here. I did get an oil uh, from this company in the Skin Box from Boxy Lux. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. So that's a one that it's in my arsenal to try. Uh, the next one here is also all exfoliating products. Peter Thomas Roths makes great products so if you can get them on sale that's the time to try them or on QVC when he does his kits. Okay, then they have some hot buys, 30% all of these. Purity is the one that I just did the video about. If they have a sale on that, it is, oh, it even says here, it's the number one facial cleanser in America, and I agree. Please watch my video on that. It's a really quick one, but it's fantastic. The, uh, a fantastic product. The next one here, I did uh, purchase the vitamin C powered Peter Thomas Roth. Really like that. I have the Mario Badesco vitamin C serum, very good. I do have the Murad, very good. I haven't tried any Dermalogica. That's my next one that I'm gonna try. I've seen some information on Crepe Erase. That has been a hit and miss on the reviews. Um, and Philosophy, like I said, they make fantastic products. Kiehl's is another really great brand. Um, the Midnight Recovery I have tried, that's a really good product. I have tried their facial and I have tried their eye cream. I've tried all three, all three are winners. The uh, other items here on this page that they're showing pictures of, the only item that I have tried and I have replenished, and, and normally I purchase this uh, directly from Amazon because when I run out, I, I get it in a couple days because I'm prime, and that's aloe vera toner. Then Ariana Grande is coming out with a new perfume, fantastic looking bottle. It's a heart cracked in two with the actual perfume coming out of it, and it's called Thank You Next. Love that song, love her. 
haven't smelt the perfume. So these are all colognes or perfumes. Then uh, they have, uh, if you are part of uh, Alta, they have their birthday uh, gifts and they're saying for September, it's gonna be a NARS uh, lip and then they have the Live and Proof for the people whose birthdays are in October. And then they have their whole point structure. Alta, I think, has one of the best, best um, points uh, programs because you get dollars back. It's not in product and it's not in sample sizes. And then they give you so many deals during the year. It's absolutely fantastic. I know they have a second level now that's diamond, which is like $1,200, which is ridiculous. But when you start adding up how much you spend for four or 450 or whatever that level is, for some reason, I've always reached it. With that said, this year, I don't think I did because of those beauty boxes. I kept upping myself from the boxy charm to the boxy luxe. I'm doing the Ipsy, the Ipsy uh, glam bag I upped, and now I upped it to the ultimate. So I don't know. It's, it's definitely um, how I'm budgeting myself. It's pulled me away from my Ulta purchases. And uh, so sometimes when I see these type of deals, I have to like really sit back and, and, and you know, figure out exactly what I really truly need as opposed to what I want. And that's, you know, why I called my channel True Wants. All right, the next item here is the Ultra Beauty Collection. They run sales, uh, I think, during the week. Yeah, September 1st to the 7th. These are the deals that are on the Ulta brand. Then these are the deals that are on uh, from September 8th to the 14th and then the 15th to the 21st. And the sale does run from the 1st to the 21st. Then they have some best sellers that are also within that time period. So you have to pick them up during that, that week. That's when those are on sale. They have uh, new products that they're introducing here. And that's what's in here. Then they have Conceal It. I haven't tried any of the Juvia uh, products. Um, I get a little overwhelmed. I know it's fantastic when there's a large, large array of shades, but uh, the more videos I watch, the more I got confused. So when I have some time, I, I'll, I think I want to divvy into that because I have tried their eyeshadow palettes. I do own their eyeshadow palettes and I enjoy their eyeshadow palettes. I got introduced to that line through the Nikki tutorials. Then they have a buy two, get one free on CoverGirl, LA Girl, and Revlon. Uh, LA Girl is a really surprising, fantastic brand. I got introduced to their brand with their Pro Concealer. I have tried their lip glosses. I love it. I've tried their shadows. I've tried their blushes. And their price points are fantastic. And I find their quality really good. CoverGirl has now blown me away. It was a brand that I never really tried, and now I am loving it. They have a, a brand that's called True Blend. I love the foundation. I love the concealer. Uh, the concealer is the with the white with the black stripes. The uh, foundation is fantastic. It's it's definitely one that I wear at least once or twice a week. Uh, Alme, I received this in one of the boxes, the eyeshadow palette. It's fine, but for some reason, Alme is always a line that I never really dive into. I don't know why, I just don't. L'Oreal, another great product brand. Uh, I think they're owned by Lancome. So they are the higher end drugstore but their prices are pretty good. I swear by their primer. I love their mascara. I love their mascara in the Voluminous. I love the one that's in the pink tube as well. I haven't tried this new lip product from them. Real Te Techniques makes fantastic, fantastic brushes. Equal Tools, I wasn't impressed with their sponge. Uh, I've tried a couple of their brushes. They're also really good. I think I use most of their brushes I started with were for my masks. Um, the Maybelline line is one of my favorite uh, brands in the drugstore. I love their Superstay uh, products. I have not tried the new Superstay in the tube uh, there, but I have tried their Superstay uh, foundation and concealer. Um, their Maybelline Fit Me powder, loose powder, is one of my favorites. Their Colossal mascara, very good, and of course everyone knows the Matte Ink Superstay. It's a, a drugstore uh, matte. Uh, liquid li lip liquid lipstick that is absolutely fantastic. It is definitely uh, the same as buying high end as far as I'm concerned. Physicians formula. This looks very similar to the uh, Casey Holmes kit. I wonder if that's what that is, but it doesn't say. But that uh, kit, I tried to get it when it first uh, came out, and it sold out twice. And now I know it's discounted. Uh, I don't know if it's discounted on Ulta. 
but um, it also looks like a really great palette. The only problem with that, uh, when I did finally see it, it is really, really bulky and takes up a lot of space. Then they have the Eyeler uh, Eyelashes. Uh, let's see here, Revolution Pro is another brand that I haven't tried, but the reviews on it are very, very strong. Don't know anything about this. Girls United, don't know much about that either. And then they have the Ultra Beauty Buy 2, Get 2. They always run a lot of Ultra Beauty products. That's when I've tried a lot of them, but like I said, a lot of times they run a special where they, they give away a bag or a cosmetic bag with it, and that's usually when I buy the Ulta stuff. But I haven't been blown away with a lot of it. Um, Global Beauty, I'm not familiar with, not familiar with, and uh, not that familiar with. How, I have and I've received the Olay um, creams. For some reason, I'm still getting through the ones that I've been getting in the boxes. That keeps going to the back of the drawer. Number seven is also a fantastic, fantastic brand. Uh, then they have a lot of cosmetic bags, but if you're part of Ipsy, you'll have enough cosmetic bags to last you a lifetime. With that said, I have one bag that I did purchase it twice that I travel with all the time. I will do a video of my travel bag uh, products that I take and you will see the travel bag in there. It is a favorite of mine. I got it off QVC. It was through Bare Minerals. Um, and I bought it just the bag on its own, which is so not me. I usually wait till things come with the gift as a bag or, but that bag was so great that I ended up buying it twice. Um, let's hear on the go accessories. Then they have a bunch of um, uh, hair products, uh, tools. We just got uh, a from FabFitFun a, a straightener, which I'm really excited to try. So, uh, and I, I'm getting a wand uh, also, uh, I think from the Boxy Lux was one of my choices, and we just got a fantastic blow dryer from them as well. So, there's no need for that there. Then there's the hair care planner, where they're telling you to do your masks, do your set. Great. Buy two, get two free. So, if you have to stock up of any of your hair care products, September is the month. Then they have the hair color uh, shop, and this is all hair products. And again, more hair products. And then at the end here, I um, hope I'm still on screen. This here is uh, Too Faced, is they're giving a free gift, this juicy four piece kit with any $35 um, Too Faced purchase. So I think that's a great steal. So it's stuff like this that I always look out for. So that makes me look that if there's anything that I want from Too Faced, that's when I would pick it up because I'm getting this type of gift from them. So once again, that's the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty brochure. Hope this video uh, helped <laughs> with guys that do not get this brochure and that we went through it slow enough that you guys were able to see it and you'll be able to pause the video if there's anything that I went through too quickly. All right, hope some of my suggestions helped on products that I have used. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, it's the red button Underneath this video, it is free. You do not get emails unless you press the bell beside it that will notify you. Otherwise, you are just supporting me and my channel and helping me grow it by hitting that red button. So I thank you for doing that if you have, and if you haven't, I really asking you to do so. As well as leave me a comment if there's anything that you're gonna be getting at the Alter Beauty that uh, I should be definitely looking at getting for myself. And please give me a thumbs up for the video because that helps me as well as a comment. All right, once again, don't forget to subscribe. It's the red button underneath the video and we'll see you in the next one. All right, take care for now. Bye.